many of the Republican candidates will argue for governor, will argue that they're, they're going to find money uh, because of the waste and fraud and excess in state government. Mm -hmm. And I posited that while I probably wouldn't argue with that thesis on the federal, uh, in the federal arena, that that may not be uh, as, uh, may not offer as much potential as they think for the state. Talk about that first and then let's talk about transportation. Yeah, well, they're not wrong. You have to identify where you can use taxpayer money more efficiently. And throughout my career, I've been involved in projects that have provided public services, better services at a lower cost. Our focus always has to be the customer and serving the customers, the taxpayers of this state, uh, for less money and finding those savings. We have been really innovative, bringing in uh, business process improvement efforts into government uh, that mirror the work that's going on in the private sector. Uh, in fact, lead some of that work in uh, you know bringing up ideas from uh, our line staff on how to better serve our customers for less money. So we always identify those savings as the CFO for the city of Denver. We identified tens of millions of dollars in savings that we were then able to use to you know serve more children through child welfare or expand library hours that's always the work you have to do as a manager as an executive of, of uh, a state agency of a local agency um, but when you ask questions about how do we make the investments in our transportation network our transportation corridors we're not going to be able to fund all of that out of the savings that we accomplish by running government better. Um, we are going to, you identified the problem exactly, and that is that uh, you know the fuel tax today has about half the purchasing power that it did 30 years ago. Now we got a lot more cars on the road <laughs> and we're driving a lot more miles and our infrastructure has aged. You know, those bridges out there are now uh, 10, 20, 30 years past their engineered life. They have to be rebuilt for safety reasons. And that's leadership, Aaron. That's the governor uh, coming forward, leading the charge, saying here are some responsible uh, solutions that will support economic growth in our state and get us all out of traffic.